Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be giving you a look at ITV 3.0, which is an app that comes with your ITV 250 Plus, which I unboxed a few weeks ago on my old YouTube channel, Jake199794, which obviously I've moved on to my new YouTube channel, ProGuy94. Uh, sorry about that name change, but it had to be done. Uh, this app lets you watch TV or record TV and edit the TV right on your Mac. So it's it brings it all together in one package. As you know, I, I have a 27-inch iMac, which I use to do all my TV watching and all of my YouTube videos on. So uh, I'll go on and we'll jump right into the app. So basically, the app is down here in my dock, and it says it's got a big eye for your TV. Kind of cool, I guess. Do it a second to launch here. This is a pretty big program. And everything that I have in this app is just a demo. That's full screen auto, uh, auto for me. It's a lab setup. We just hope we'll make it through the so, whole rest of this box. day with set up here. I'm gonna mute it. And as you can see, here is the main window you get. You can go full screen with it by double clicking, or you can double click again to go out of full screen. Same thing. You can do Command Zero. Uh, you can go down here to the bottom, and you can actually rewind through the show. Obviously, I don't have much to rewind to because it's just started. Uh, so they just launched the program. You can hit Command L to go live, and basically this is the main window you'll be looking at mostly. You can resize this window if you want to. And then a really cool feature is I can keep this window on top, so I can launch Safari and Mail and this and that. And let me close out Mail, but uh, I can open iTunes. And as you can see, ITV stays on top the entire time, no matter what I do. So you can easily shrink down this window and still work. Just kind of nice. Close out everything here. And there we go. It's a little bit bigger for demo purposes. And then it's also got other things you can do. Like if you've got a window, you can open up the controller, which is just kind of new to ITV3. And you can easily re rewind from this also. You can record just by hitting this record button. You can hit this button here to show the little menu that give you and use the arrows to go through it and choose your channels and things like that. Shuts on all the channels I get. Then I hit this button and it's pull up my program guide, which you can also hit by hitting Control P. And then here is basically the program window. And so I can go to program guide and I've got mine set to my Comcast. And basically I can scroll straight through it just like this. I use the momentum for my magic mouse, just like you would think. So I can hit this button here to go straight to what I'm watching now. You can, um, uh, yeah. I can see my smart guides to see what I've got set up to record. This is all demo, of course. Here's all my channels, and this is the and this app is kind of hard to set up. I'll so that right away. If I would do this on a weekend when you've got plenty of time to actually you know set this up, because it does take a little while to get this app exactly the way you want it. And you can see your schedules for things like I said, and you know basically you can do a lot in this app. This app is extremely powerful. So and then well, and what I find is really neat. I've got an episode of House down here, this one right here, this is the latest episode. If I hit edit right here, I, I can actually go in here and get rid of this remote, control C. And you can basically go in here and cut out the commercials. So say I don't want this beginning part, so I'm going to hit this button here, and it's going to give me two markers. I drag to the portion I want, and I've got to set on fine, you don't have to. So I'm going to set right here, I'm going to get a little bit more fine tuned with it. The exact frame when it starts. A lot of clicking involved, but you get the idea. And right here is where I want the show to start. So, oops, I scroll my mouse. Anyway, you get the idea. You can easily go through it. Choose this is where you want the show to start, and you can go in here, hit this button. If you hit compact, it'll basically clear out that section for you. Or you can clear all markers, invert, export the clip, save clip as recording. It's pretty easy. I want to clear all the markers. I'll click the close button, and now we're back to this. You can hit Command K, obviously. That doesn't it. look good. Yeah, but my shift is over. So, and then, uh, and be warned, you need a computer with a pretty big amount of storage to fit all the video in here, because each all this video takes up about a gigabyte a piece, except they're really small ones. So, like this, this is only. 200 megabytes. This is just some Pixar shorts, which I don't think Apple would mind me showing off a little bit. 
I am basically, you know, and then I can unmute it with Command K. I'll record this from ABC Family. Anyway, you get the idea. And I just hit close, and then if I open it back up, it'll be back where I started. And it's just a really great app. It works really well. You know, it does everything you want it to do. I wish it had a preset button up here for the iPhone, but I cannot find it. And you've got plenty of settings you can choose from. What iPhone quality you want to export to. They have an iPhone app. Okay. They, you know, they have tons of stuff you can do. You can do overscan, you know, all the stuff you want to set it to sh If you've got a widescreen iMac, you want to set on stretch, where it fills up the screen, because if you turn off stretch, it'll actually be in the square, which bothers me. So, get the idea. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> this is a really great app. You can share this with other Macs in your house. If you've got the software to do so. And basically where you will get this is Elgato.com. So you go to Elgato.com. Oops, that was cool. Here's basically where you'll buy it. You can they have multiple TV tuners. You don't have to buy the ITV 250 Plus, which costs $200. They've got an ITV hybrid. You can also purchase that costs, I think, just $100 or $150. And like I said, they do have an iPhone app, which I think now works on 3G. Even No, they have a 3G web app. You get the idea. Anyway, this is the end of my video. I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.